Section three of Sabotage. This is a LibraVox recording. All LibraVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibraVox.org. Sabotage by Elizabeth Gurley Flynn. Short pay, less work, Kakani. Sabotage, as it aims at the quantity, is a very old thing, called by the Scotch Kakani. All intelligent workers have tried it at some time or other when they have been compelled to work too hard and too long. The Scotch dockers had a strike in 1889, and their strike was lost. But when they went back to work, they sent a circular to every docker in Scotland, and in this circular they embodied their conclusions, their experience from the bitter defeat. It was to this effect. The employers, like the scabs, they have always praised their work. They have said how much superior they were to us. They have paid them twice as much as they have ever paid us. Now let us go back to the docks, determine that since those are the kind of workers they like, and that is the kind of work they endorse, we will do the same thing. We will let the cakes of wine go over the docks as the scabs did. We will have great boxes of fragile articles drop in the midst of the pyre as the scabs did. We will do the work just as clumsily, as slowly, as destructively as the scabs did, and we will see how long our employers can stand that kind of work. It was very few months until through this system of sabotage they had won everything they had fought for and not been able to win through the strike. This was the first open announcement of sabotage in an English-speaking country. I have heard of my grandfather telling how an old fellow came to work on the railroad and the boss said, Well, what can you do? I can do most anything, said he, a big husky fellow. Well, said the boss, can you handle a pick and a shovel? Oh, sure. How much do you pay on this job? A dollar a day. Is that all? Well, all right. I need the job pretty bad. I guess I will take it. So he took his pick and went leisurely to work. Soon the boss came along and said, Say, can't you work any faster than that? Sure, I can. Well, why don't you? This is my dollar a day clip. Well, said the boss, let's see what the $1.25 a day clip looks like. That went a little better. Then the boss said, Let's see what the $1.50 a day clip looks like. The man showed him. That was fine, said the boss. Well, maybe we will call it $1.50 a day. The man volunteered the information that his $2 a day clip was a hummer. So through this instinctive sword of sabotage, this pure obscure working man on a railroad in Maine was able to gain for himself an advance from $1 to $2 a day. We read of the gangs of Italian working men when the boss cuts their pay. You know, usually they have an Irish or American boss, and he likes to make a couple of dollars a day on the side for himself. So he cuts the pay of the men once in a while without consulting the contractor and pockets the difference. One boss cut them 25 cents a day. The next day, he came on the work to find that the amount of dirt that was being removed had lessened considerably. He asked a few questions. What's the matter? Me no understand English. None of them wished to talk. Well, he exhausted the day going around trying to find one person who could speak and tell him what was wrong. Finally, he found one man who said, Well, you see, boss, you cut a pay, you cut a shop. That was the same form of sabotage to lessen the quantity of production in proportion to the amount of pay received. There was an Indian preacher who went to college and eked out an existence on the side by preaching. Somebody said to him, John, how much do you get paid? Oh, only get paid two hundred dollars a year. Well, that's a damn poor page, John. Well, he said, damn poor preach. That too is an illustration of a form of sabotage that I am now describing to you. The Kakani form of sabotage, the go easy slogan, the slacken up, don't work so hard species, and it is a reversal of the motto of the American Federation of Labor that most safe, sane and conservative organization of labor in America. They believe in a fair day's wage for a fair day's work. Sabotage is an unfair day's work for an unfair day's wage. It is an attempt on the part of a worker to limit his production in proportion to his remuneration. That is one form of sabotage. End of short pay. Less work. Kakani.